So many of you want through, so let's do it. Paul, good morning. First through, what do you want to say? Yeah, how you doing, guys? Right. Morning. Um, just to, first of all, I want to ask you a question. Can any of you give me one reason why Eric Ten Hag should not be sacked? Just one. Any of you, one reason. Well, I'd Dara, like you, you, you've already mm-hmm. uh, said what you think. I, th- I, I think now he's clinging to his job, Paul, especially with Sir Jim watching last night. Martin, do you think it's almost time up if it isn't already? Well, look, I suppose they won a trophy. They got to the Champions League last year, but that was all last year. I've not seen the next progression. I'm not yeah. seeing the next step. And yeah. I, um, and I, I just, you can't kid the Man United fans when you just roll up after every game and say they've been magnificent and individual mistakes have cost you. Um, I think it's as clear as day that he, he won't be there uh, beyond the end of the so season. So, what you, Martin says probably won't be there much longer after the end of this season. What is your take, Paul? Well, I mean, people always say, well, do you want a trophy? You want the Rumbelows Cup, whatever they call it these days, last season. But if you're going to make that as your argument, you can't then say that Manchester United are a big football club because Nagelsmann wins the league at Bayern Munich. He's fired the next season. Mourinho wins the league at Madrid. He's fired the next season. Tuchel wins the quadruple, gets to a Champions League final at PSG. He's fired the next season. Xabi wins the league. He's fired the next season. Sarri wins the league at Juventus. He's fired the same season. At Manchester United, where uh, Solskjaer gets, wins nothing, gets three years. Ken Hag loses 17 games in a season, and people talk, talk to me about the Rumblows Cup. So you can't claim to be a big football club if you are still hanging on to that manager. And some of the things that he's done are unbelievable. He's presided over the worst ever defensive record by an English side in a Champions League group history, right? Conceding 15 goals, coming bottom of a group with Galatasaray and Copenhagen. He talks about standards all the time. He talks about standards. He loses 7-0 to Liverpool. 7-0. And he plays the same team in the next game. He loses 6-0 to City. Right? He's conceded 59 shots since Saturday. 109 shots in four games. Right? And I'm reading you stats, which I don't like to do. I've got a few of them in front of me. No, listen, you're, to, you're well armed, you, of course. You, you, have, you have to understand the depth of it, right? We had an FA Cup final to stop our greatest rivals winning the treble, the most pathetic performance I've ever seen. Dunked out of the Europa League 3 0 by Seville. He makes our most ill disciplined, moaning footballer the captain of Manchester United. He gets rid of our greatest ever player, banishes one for tweeting whilst playing the. The, the Belfast clubbing PR baby in every game with no consequences for a consistently horrendous attitude. It's, uh, it is literally unbelievable. No patterns of play, no identity, orphan in game management, poor subs, had no effect on any game. He plays a system I've never seen in my life. He plays six attackers and four defenders. I've never seen that in, in the history of football. Paul, I've never tell seen us that. how you really and, feel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, um, what, exactly. You know, I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how I really feel because go on I, then. I go bit, on. What I get annoyed. No, but what I get annoyed about is, is I get. I don't get the reluctance to say the guy should be sacked. I honestly don't get it. And I'm, even from, with respect to you guys, you can't say the words he should be sacked. I just and said I it I, I, before you came I on air. Get, well, okay, okay, fair, okay, fair enough. I guess I'm thinking of the, the I'm thinking of the ex Manchester United pros who are all the the pundits and commentators these days, right? We've conceded the same goal a hundred times. So, what should happen next times, ball with Zen Hag? What should happen now? What should happen right now? Well, United are not getting anywhere. But if you're going to talk about standards, then you lay the standards out. You have not been good enough. You go today. It's irrelevant whether he goes today or at the end of the season. It doesn't make any difference to us. It doesn't make any difference to the players. So set a standard as the club. You don't even get to the end of the season. This is unacceptable at Manchester United. You don't get to spend £450 million, pounds, spend £80 million pounds on Anthony. Paul, Paul, OK. Paul, I take, I take on board everything. Who, who's the next manager... For, for Manchester United I know you want to do that it's quite radical to do it right now we've got a semi-final against Coventry which I assume you're going to get no, to no. well you're putting an interim the... presumably until the yeah. end of the season you, you, you put in an interim it doesn't matter who it is you put in an interim at the end of the season. there's only a few games left United are not going anywhere they're not winning anything right but I've got an amazing thing to tell you about managers right it's not a marriage it is not for life you give a manager a target. You give him six months. If he reaches the target, he gets another six months. And then you can increase that by a year, two years, whatever. It doesn't matter who the next manager is because you're not marrying him. If he doesn't work, you push him out. Personally, I would bring Nagelsmann in every day of the week, including months of Sunday. Although now I'm told that we've got leadership who thinks that Gareth Southgate is the answer to all these problems. Um, but whatever it is, where we are now is unacceptable for any top club. And as I told you, the people who were fired at the beginning from top clubs, that is how top clubs behave. 
stop pretending that you've got to give a guy more time. More time to do what? Finish what he started? What, what are we giving him more time for? It's the Paul, most I, doubt if there are, I doubt if there are many Manchester United fans listening this morning who fancy following your call um, <laughs> after that. Paul, that was nothing short of uh, spectacular. Thank you so much. Paul, a Manchester United fan, called in first, got on first, and more than said his bit. We'll carry on after this. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.